Whatever After by Sarah Milnowski. Abby and Jonah's family has moved into a new town where everything seems to be different. While exploring in the basement of his new house, Jonah finds a creepy old mirror that has been left by the previous owners and insists that it's hissing at him. He runs to go wake up Abby to show her what he's found. They knock on the mirror and it begins hissing, spinning, and it turns purple. The mirror sucks them in and they land on the ground in the middle of a bunch of trees. They quickly realize that they aren't in Smithville anymore. They start walking in the forest and follow an old lady to a cute cottage in the woods. The old lady is trying to sell apples to the girl inside the house who has dark hair, red lips, and white skin. Abby and Jonah have landed in Snow White's fairy tale. Since they know the story, they stop Snow White from eating the apple from her stepmother, Evil Evelyn. Could they have saved the day? Not exactly. That messes up her whole story. If she doesn't eat the apple, how will she meet her prince? Abby and Jonah decide to stay and try to fix Snow White's story so that she can somehow end up with her prince. How will Snow White's story end this time? Will they be able to get past the guards and get into the castle to find the prince? How will Abby and Jonah get back home? Read Whatever After, Fairest of All, to see if everyone lives happily ever after in this story. <laughs>